Kim Kyungishan Dojian. All right, so here we are, guys, on Shakura's Plateau. In the top left-hand corner, we have our yellow Terran player hailing from Team Quantic Gaming. He is Theognis. And his opponent in the top right-hand corner from the Team Evil Geniuses. He has taken two games in a row now from Quantic. He is EG in control. Yep, in control, really being the, uh, the hero of EG today so far. I mean, he's gotten a couple wins. Could yeah. push his opponent, or could push his team, rather, to a 4-1. Score right now for the win against the Agnes. And uh, mm -hmm. the Agnes is one of those players, uh, again, you know, from the NA scene that I remember casting a lot of games of back when I did a lot of the uh, the smaller online cups back in the day. So I'm always glad to see one of these guys kind of come up and be on a legitimate team. Yeah. Pretty cool to see. And I've got to say, Theognis is a good player. He really is. Um, you know, he was... Uh, He's taken games off some very, very great players in the world, and um, it's been a pleasure to watch him improve. And I think, you know, a lot of people should pay attention to this guy. He could be a force in the NA scene very, very soon. Mm -hmm. All right. This is the build. This is the map that the... Uh, these, uh, this is the map and the positions, actually, that the, the Doha TVP build works best on. The Doha TVP the Doha build. build. It's the best build ever. It's three barracks, Reaper... Oh. Ghost Marauder. Ooh. One base. Nice. So it's those times when you're playing mono battles and, like, uh, Marine can't be chosen. So. No, it's it's like those times when I'm playing against a good Protoss and I just want to mess with him, so I pick this map and do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's it's just it's a terrible Standard. build, but it's funny Standard to win build. games with it. All right. So let's see here. A a, well, build. now you have the uh, scroll snipe, so pretty much you win everything, right? Oh, that's so, true, but you yeah. want to use the EMP, of course. Oh, no. With the Doha you, build. If you have that now, you just one shot uh, Colossi and you lull at people. Well, they don't like have time ghosts. to get those out. It's okay. <laughs> Mortal Kombat! Yes. Probe on SCV action there. Yep. And the probe is not taken into the damage your other bite. than its shields. <laughs> And uh, Theon is going back to mining, though. He's been bypassing gas for quite a while now, and it looks like he will go after a uh, one racks gasless FE in control. On the other one, on the other hand, has not quite shown his hand. We'll see if he ends up going for a uh, Sentry Expand or oh, something along those lines in a bit. One Gate Expand would be the uh, par for the course, I would yep. say, on, on this map. For and sure. given the double ramp that you've got, you know, the ramp going into the natural and the ramp going into the main, you're quite safe to do a lot of those uh, more greedy, greedy builds. Oh, nice. He actually traps a probe in there without letting him see the command center yeah. in the low ground. That's a nice little move by Theognis. And uh, in control, as you can see, has been going around the entire outside just so we can get a beat on where that building is getting constructed at. But uh, now that probe is looking dejected and sad because he will never be able to scout it, he's yeah. dead. And you should have a pretty good idea that there will be a uh, command center up there. Oh, look at that. A little bit of uh, engineering bay block mm -hmm. from Theognis as well. So Theognis just doing a lot of nice little tricks early in the game here to just throw his opponent off. Um, and, um, you know, in control probably knows what's coming. It, sure. you know, the only other option really would be some sort of crazy marine SCV all-in off a couple barracks that are right. getting put down right now, theoretically, and in control's mind. But yes. I think he probably thinks of that option and goes, no, that's silly. Exactly. Hardly everyone, hardly anyone does that. That is true. That is true. He's a wee bit supply blocked right now, but uh, oh, not a wee so bit. bad. He's a, a wee, wee bit, bit supply, supply blocked, blocked right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, that's uh, my one eighth Irish right. coming out of me right now. So don't judge me. Uh, engineering base going to go down here in a second. That will have to get canceled. I said canceled. Yep. There it is. Okay, there it is. Down to its last shot, but the youngness cancels it just in time, just to delay as long as possible. But now you know. in control is going four gate robo off of one base. No, he's not. We'll he's he got a, Oh, he does have a nexus. Never mind. I'm just not on top of anything today at all. Yes, he is going four gate robo, but oh, with a warp prism, it's a warp prism all in from in control. Oh, and the Very is cool. putting up another command center. Oh man, this is actually well, it's a great map for this anyway. But yeah, yeah with the Agnes going for that fast third command center. It is a uh, rock, paper, warp prism, and warp prism <laughs> basically beats a lot of stuff there, yes, especially, I mean, the Agnes just isn't going to have any units right. uh, when this hits. So in control, unless he controls really badly, should actually win this game. We'll have to wait and see, but there's no bunkers in the main, and that's yeah. where Theognis is going to want him in a moment. Now, Theognis did actually get in with another unit a second ago and actually ran past the stalker. Oh, did he? And did not oh, see wow. a nexus, so he knows that something's... Oh, there's a scan. Oh, oh and he sees the warp, he prism. the warp prism. Is oh, he boy. Back into his base right of now? Of course yes, he, he is. is. Yeah. All right. He definitely wants to do that. So if the Marines meet the warp prism right away there, 
Now, what in control can do? Oh, he's only got zealots in there as well. Yes, he does. Okay, so yes, he, he can he can still unload and occupy the marines with the zealots, oh. but that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, he has to get away. Uh -oh. And now all of a sudden, in control is in a bad way. He has to cancel the pylon as well. Will not be able to warp onto the high ground. He's trying to produce as many units as mm -hmm. he can, but this warp prism just really has nowhere to go. It's kind of stuck in limbo at the moment. We still have oh, there's a bunker up the front, but there's no units inside of it. But yep. yet, in control still backs away. Well, he's just kind of testing the front there, seeing yeah. if he can get the Marines to move away. He needs to find a safe place for that war prism to unload. Oh, it's so tense it right now. Yes, it is. The Agnes, he's trying to defend at the front. Stalkers are making their way through. One SEV has pulled off the line. That won't be enough. More are coming in now. He did unload inside of the back of the main as well. One Zealot has already gone down. There's plenty of Marines there. However, there's enough Warpens coming in from In Control that it may be too much to bear. Uh, looks like In Control was not able to burst through the front, though. Only you know, two Marines sitting inside of that bunker. He actually just needs to run past that bunker right now. Yes, That's what he actually should have done in that case. But he doesn't know how many Marines are in there. So he decided not to. I think In Control kind of missed a bit of an opportunity, but he can still warp in, keep the Stalkers on the low ground. In yes. Control still in a pretty good situation. He can still... Warp those guys up there. Oh, oh, no, dropping them on the low ground. Yeah. Bit of a miscontrol from in control there. Nice. And, yeah. That oh, man. I don't know. That may have been actually fortunate for him because I don't that think he had enough with the units reinforcing. He would have been able to do it. I don't think so. He's going to try and drop now. No. no. He did expand already behind yes. this. So he kind of gave up on it already. But uh, he's going to be a bit behind at this oh, point. Oh, yeah. Quite a bit behind. The Agnes right did now. not lose a whole lot. How many SCVs did he end up losing from that? Yeah, only eight. eight. Yep, and he is up by three at the moment, but of course he's on triple uh, command centers and exactly. he has triple mules. Yeah, so uh, in control in a bit of a rough spot right now. Certainly. Um, that scan from The Agnes, he knew exactly what was, go what was going on. Let that unit in there. Just imagine what would happen if that unit had not gotten in and seen that there wasn't a Nexus. Oh, I know. This would be a very different game right now, I think. Certainly. Um, Yep, right. so in control, going for a Colossus tech right now. Looks like he's just going to try to move right up to Colossus as fast as he can and hit that kind of a similar timing to what we saw him do on Daybreak. And yeah, looks like Theognis is ready up at the front as well, just in case anything happens. Another Fort Zealot drop, though, behind. And Theognis pulling his SEVs away at the moment, but he has so many units there that uh, not a lot of damage is going to be inflicted. Yep. And, in fact, just picking up right away in control backing out. Yep. He's got the observer on the front too, just to kind of watch. Yeah. Um, in control isn't in a terrible spot. He's he can still chrono boost out probes. He can kind of get his economy going a little bit more. Um, he's not going to be able to, you know, if he does, just go and make colossi right away. The problem is that he's not going to be able to make a good gateway support for that as well, yeah. which is going to make it pretty tough for him to hold off this attack. And you know, I would imagine Theognis, he might do a little bit of a poke now, but he's probably going to just really wait until the first medevacs come out. Because that's when you can kind of get in there and even deal with, like, one Colossus sometimes. So we'll have to see if he stops at the tower or keeps going. Theognis is going he's to be... still going. Yeah, he's going to be on five racks here in just a second. Stim's going to finish up in 65. So yeah. he's got a little while before that finishes. But he scans and he sees nothing on the field. In control, in fact, only has one sentry down as well. Looks like Theognis backing up at the moment, taking oh, map yeah. control with the rest of his forces splitting up. And uh, his factory's done, so we'll be able to move into some medevacs here pretty quickly. Yeah, you would never want to move up to, into that if you were Theognis right there. I mean, that would just be a little bit suicidal. He's got a lead anyway. There's no reason for him to kind of push it with some sort of silly attack without his upgrades finishing. Mm -hmm. uh, I like this decision to take the pocket base, though, just kind of with the way things have been going. This is going to be a little bit easier for him to defend. But yeah. in control, not giving up with the warp prison play. No, not at all. He's going to come back right through the front. Looks like warping yep. some units on the low ground. And look at that. There's already a bunker with four wow. Marines inside. Of course, increasing their range as well to six. So it'll be able yep. to range stalkers as well. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty difficult for In Control to try and break. He's down by 25 supply. 20 of that is in workers at the moment. So in terms of just overall army units, he's not a, a, that far behind. But the Agnes is just producing so much stuff right now that that lead is just going to grow exponentially. Yeah, well, In Control knows that he's going to need some sort of AOE to take on this army. You know, that's why we see the Colossi coming out. Um, you know, if he decides to go for, like, a quicker third, we could see a quicker Templar tech as well. But I think he's just going to stick on two base. Go for this Colossi push, kind of similar to, again, you know, what we saw in Daybreak. But does he have the units to kind of make it work right now? There's no Vikings out for Theognis. No. But he still does have quite a supply lead, quite an army lead. 
And he is showing the drop inside of the main as well. More barracks are coming up. In Control backing up at the moment. Units were being rallied to the front, so we'll see if In Control can get some damage done. Going after a reactor right away, then changing his targets as now there are a bunch of Marines with Stim on the field, and uh, wow. In Control is uh, warping in more units to try and prevent units from running up to the front here, but it looks like Yagnus just actually has enough stuff that he's producing out of his barracks that'll be able to drive this out. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm a bit surprised he decided to go ahead and warp things in there. Um, you know, I mean, it just you just can't produce a lot of units to handle the bio at that point. And a big engagement oh, oh out the front, and in control caught a little bit out of position. One Colossus goes down, yep. a second going to fall as well, down to just one hit point, and there it goes. Not that too many that. units left over for the, I'm sorry, for in control. Theognis just pushing ahead at the moment in style. Yep, yeah, it's just so tough. I mean, he tried to go for the Colossi to get that AoE, but, you know, just, like I said, couldn't produce that gateway backbone to support it, and he's going to scan, see the lone Colossi, and he's going to stim again, go right yeah. up that ramp, and you know, yeah, the units are getting low, but the Colossus is getting a little bit lower as it's getting a dead. Bit dead. It's getting a bit dead, true. Yeah. And uh, wow, he's actually just going to take a look at everything in the base here, just to kind of make sure. Yeah, not a bad choice safe. there. He does have a uh, pretty big drop coming through from yep. the side as well. Uh, do we have another Colossus coming up? Yes, we do. And it's being Chrono Boosted out right now as In Control is trying to hold on. And uh, kudos to him for GG. staying in. But, uh, yep, yeah, that is it. And Quantic has taken a game back from Evil Geniuses. The Agnes doing his job moving in and taking out In Control.